Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to take a moment to talk to you about how to hold the bow while playing pizzicato. It's a fairly easy thing to do, but there's a couple of tricks about it, and my students are frequently asking questions about it, so I thought it'd be worth taking a couple of minutes to go over it. I'm going to start off with the French bow, but in the second half, we'll go over this also for the German bow. So the way it starts off is you're going to have a nice, relaxed bow hold. Uh, I have a couple of videos on how to hold the French bow and how to hold the German bow, so if you haven't looked at those, you may want to take a moment and check them out. But you want to start off with a nice, relaxed bow hold. You're playing your notes. Time to switch to pizzicato. Back to the bow. See, it could be quick and easy once you get the hang of it. Now, I'm going to break down that motion for you a little bit here. On the French bow, you're going to take these three fingers, take the frog of the bow, and you're going to close it down against the hand like this. Thumb comes up, index finger goes out, kind of like a gun shape. Thumb hooks on the side of the fingerboard, index finger comes over, ready to play your pizzicato note. When you're going back, thumb comes into the frog, fingers wrap back around, and you're ready to go back onto the string. Uh, when I have my students first start out with this, we'll actually go over it again and again. I'll do this, I'll say draw. They go to the gun shape, back to the bow hold. Draw, gun shape, back to the bow hold. Over and over again until they start to get the hang of it. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in here for a little bit and I'm gonna go over this uh, motion in detail just so you can get a really nice look at it. All right, so here we are with a good relaxed bow hold. Fingers are curved, thumb is bent. These three fingers are going to take the frog, close up against the palm of the hand, thumb comes up, index finger goes out. Back to the bow hold, I'm going to bring my thumb in over here down to the tongue of the frog. My fingers are going to wrap back around and get my fingers back in shape here for the bow hold. So here it is full speed and then back. Okay, so that's it for the French bow. Um, I'm going to cut over here in just a second. I'm going to get a German bow and I'll be right back for the German bow. Okay, I'm back here with my German bow now. It's a little bit different with a German bow, but again, you can do it pretty quick once you get the hang of it. All right, so I'm going to break that down for you here. On the German bow, what you're going to do is basically you just drop the thing and let it hang off of your pinky. You take your fingers here. Again, you're holding the frog against the palm of your hand. Your thumb comes up. Your index finger goes out. You're going to hook on the side of the fingerboard. Index finger reaches over. When it's time to go back to the bowing position, you turn your hand down a little bit, pull the pinky out, bring it back up. So really it's just dropping it, grabbing hold of it. You want to make sure that you've got the frog against the palm of your hand pretty solid because if you don't and you're just letting it dangle, you can have problems with the bow hitting the top of the base and making noise. So you want to make sure that you've really got it so that you don't have that problem and you have control of your bow down here in the air. All right, so we're going to zoom in on this one again and uh, go over that where you can see it really well, I hope. So here I want to make sure I've got a good relaxed bow hold. Again, I have a video on how to hold the German bow if you need it. I'm going to let my fingers relax. Pinky is going to come up in towards the, the frog here so that as I drop it, hangs on the pinky. Bottom three fingers together with the pinky through the frog and the other two, hold it against the palm of my hand. My thumb comes over here, hooks down on the end of the fingerboard, and I'm ready to pizzicato. When I go back, I'm going to turn my hand a little bit, grab back hold of the bow, and bring it over. So full speed. And that's how you do the same thing with the German bow. How do you hold on to the bow while you have to play pizzicato? Um, so hopefully you found this helpful. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Uh, if you have other questions about your know, double bass techniques, anything you'd like to see a video on, you know, leave me a comment about it uh, underneath the video and I can add that into my list of videos that I'm going to make for folks. Um, thank you very much.